Sometimes we have to use the chain rule more than one time. When that's the case, it's useful to write the chain rule like this. The derivative of f of g of x is f prime of g of x times d dx of g of x. Writing this as d dx of g of x is kind of a good intermediate step to indicate what you need to do next and to break the problem down into steps. Let's look at an example of how we can use the chain rule multiple times. So here's our example. We want to find d dx of 3x plus 1 to the 4th plus 5x to the 7th. In this case, we can identify the outer function immediately. The f uh, function is going to be something raised to the 7th. So we can just focus on taking the derivative of that in our first step and worry about taking the derivative of the inside in a later step. So we take the derivative of something to the 7th, that's 7 times whatever's inside raised to the 6th, times, and then we just write d dx of whatever's inside. And so that was applying this formula. We took f prime, which was 7 something to the 6th, of g of x, which is 3x plus 1 to the 4th plus 5x. And then we just say multiply by d dx of this. That's applying this formula directly, and we've postponed the task of finding d dx of this inside function till the next step. And so now we just have a new problem to solve. We write down what we have here identically. We don't have to change that at all. And now we can focus our attention on just taking the derivative of this. That involves the chain rule again, because we have 3x plus 1 to the 4th. So to take the derivative of 3x plus 1 to the 4th, that's 4 times 3x plus 1 cubed, times the derivative of what's inside based on the chain rule, and the derivative of, what's of 3x plus 1 is 3. So there's an extra 3 that comes out plus the derivative of 5x is just 5. So we had to use the chain rule again inside this uh, ddx at the end of the first chain rule. We may have to do that multiple times, but in this time we're done, and we can simplify this slightly by multiplying the 4 and the 3 to get 12 to make this the final answer. By breaking this up into intermediate steps of writing these intermediate ddx's, it's a powerful way of applying the chain rule multiple times.